Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a, uh, an example question of a circuit analysis of a permanent magnet DC motor. So here I have the uh, example question. We're just going to start off nice and easy, finding just um, just one, one thing. So given a 100 volt PM DC motor with a speed of 1200 RPM and a 1.5 milliweber flux per pole, and an armature resistance of 0 0.7 ohms and a K of 82. Find the torque developed, assuming rotational losses to be zero. So that means that this here, PR equals zero. And then I've gone and rewritten all our um, data, just so we can have it all out. 100 volts, 1.5 milliwebers, 82 is our constant and 1200 RPM and a uh, armature resistance of 0 0.7. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw the um, equivalent uh, circuit diagram of the DC motor so we can see what we're doing and what sort of formulas we need to um, work with. So here I've gone ahead and drawn the uh, circuit diagram. So it's very simple, actually, as motors go. Just have our armature resistance here in series with our EA, with these lines here to indicate the permanent magnet and the flux. And then across these two points is our terminal voltage. So now that we have this, let me just add in the um, units. We can use these two formulas, very simple, and we can find our torque. Torque developed. So as you can see, we both basically have everything we need, except we don't have IA and we don't have EA. But we're lucky that we have another formula for EA that will work very well and is quite easy. So EA equals k phi w or omega but then we run into a little bit of another snag is we don't have our um, radians per second um, speed but that's okay because as we know the formula for that one is very another very easy um, formula W or omega equals 2 pi n over 60 and so our n is our speed so now we can find out our W the speed here it is so we can just plug that in we have 2 pi over I mean times 1200 over 60. And we can plug that in the calculator and we get 125.66 radians per second. Don't forget the units. Let's just um, go check that again. So we have 2 pi times 1200 uh, 16. Yep, that's what we get. So now that we have our, um, our speed and the proper units, we can rewrite our, well, we can just sub it into our equation with our k is 82 times our flux, but it's in milliwebbers, so do not forget to times it by negative 3, well, tens it by negative 3, times our speed, 125.66. Okay, I'm going to save you having to look at me put it in the calculator. So it equals 15.4. 6 volts. That's great. So now what we can do is rearrange this equation here 
so that IA is a subject and so we can work it out. So we start by bring IA to this side, then we'll bring EA to this side, and then we'll divide both sides by RA. So this is our new formula. And so we'll start subbing that in over here. So 100 is our BT minus our newly found IA, which is 15.46 over our RA. So that is 0 0.7. Now I can just plug that in and find out IA very easily and it's going to be 120.78 amps don't forget the units always very important and that's where most of the marks come from too well you could lose some marks if you don't okay so now that we have our ia we can go in and find our torque developed okay so let's rewrite it down here torque equals torque developed equals our constant k over our um, flux uh, times our flux times ia so sub that in 82 times 1.5 milliwebbers times our current so 120.5 Seven, eight. All right, and then so then we plug that in the calculator. We have fourteen point eight six newtons per meter. There we go. So we just turn these two very easy equations with the help of this one and this one to figure out the torque developed in a permanent magnet DC motor. There you go. I hope that was helpful. Hope you enjoyed.